guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here my name is Timpy and today I'm coming at you with another tag video I was tagged by lovely Francesca here on YouTube we are really really good friends I love her content and I'm sure you guys will enjoy her content as well so be sure to check her channel out I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description box down below but like I said today is a tag video and the tag is basically about finding a picture of yourself could be five years 10 years even 15 years ago you basically showcase a picture of yourself with a handbag and you talk about it you tell everybody a little bit of a story about that handbag so i think it's a lot of fun it definitely brought back a lot of memories for me it made me very emotional as i was looking through all of my pictures finding a good picture of myself from the past so definitely it's going to be a lot of fun i'm going to enjoy it and i'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it as well so without further ado let's get into the video right away okay so here is my very first picture and this picture is so old it's from 2012 so i guess not that old but definitely a little bit older and as far as i remember we are in dubai over here we are in some aquarium and I don't really know the name of that aquarium. I was there with my family and I think it was my mom who clicked this picture for me. And the bag I'm wearing here is I think either from College Spring or Aldo. So back then I didn't really have any money. I didn't really work, I was still studying I think. So I didn't have anything with me. So I used to buy my bags from Aldo and College Spring. And oh boy, I used to love their stuff. But for some reason it, like their bags didn't really last me that long. It would start pe peeling off and getting dirty and kind of ripping apart. So maybe because of that real leather, I don't know. But that's basically why I don't have this bag with me. Um, I think it was in a very bad condition because I really used it and I used it a lot and I bashed it around too. But anyways, I used to love this bag. It had so many little sections and i remember using all the sections and enjoying the bag so yeah this is my very first picture that i really want to show you guys okay so moving on to the second picture this picture was taken in 2014 i am in toronto's wonderland over here and if you ever visit canada or if you ever visit toronto you must visit canada's wonderland it's an amusement park and it's a lot of fun there but if we talk about the handbag that i'm wearing here it's a micro Kors bag and it is actually my very first micro Kors bag so prior to this i used to own all the bags from either aldo or college spring um, so the, getting this bag was a big, big deal for me. I got it from Macy's, I think. I was visiting California at the time and I still remember going to Macy's, being so excited and getting my very first Micro Kors bag. And at the time it was a big deal for me because I think I was still working in a coffee shop. So definitely it was a lot of money plus the conversion from Canadian dollars to US dollars. It was a lot, but I was just so excited. I even opened the Macy's card just to get like 20 or 25% off of my whole purchase. Um, but I think at that time, the reason I picked this whole MKMQ print was because I wanted to really show it up in front of my friends that I have finally got my first MK bag. So you can imagine how excited I was. And surprisingly, I still have this bag with me. Um, here is the bag and um, obviously it's used up because I've really used this quite a bit. There's definitely some wear on this bag. So up in the front you can see there's definitely some scratches. Even the strap is a little bit worn and there is some color transfer in the back as well. So I've used this bag quite a bit um, and because I really used to love this bag, um, it is very spacious um, and yeah, it is. it was a very good bag. Here is a good peek at it from the inside. Um, it does have a little section at the back as well. 
So it was a very useful bag um, and it holds quite a bit. As you can see, the bag is very, very slouchy. So I'm just going to put all the papers back in so that it takes its shape. <laughs> so coming back to the bag, um, I think the whole reason why I still have this bag with me is because this is or this was my very first Michael Kors bag and I have so many memories attached to it and obviously I don't use this bag anymore. My style has really changed and this is really not my style anymore. Um, but yeah, I just want to keep it with me as my memory, as my very first Michael Kors bag. And I think if it was not for this tag, I don't think I would have ever taken this out of my closet. I think it would have just stayed in my closet behind all of my current bags. So it was thank you to this tag that I got to talk about my very first handbag, my very first Michael Kors bag, because this is how everything started. This is how my love for handbags started. So obviously this bag is very, very special to me and I think I will keep it with me forever, even if I don't use it. That really does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big, big thumbs up. That really helps my channel out a lot. So thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun filming this video. I got to go back in time, look for all the pictures, look for old handbags. It was a lot of fun and emotional at the same time. So thank you so much for watching. And I'm also going to be tagging some of my favorite ladies here on YouTube. I'm going to be leaving their names, their channel names in the description box down below. And that really does it for today's video. Thank you so much once again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. I'll see you guys now in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.